So well, in a very short space of time, Gabby Greco has become one of the most talked about women in Australia. She a model, a DJ, and of course, Jeffrey Edelston's new love. Gabby joins us now live from Melbourne on a beautiful morning. Gabby, good morning. Good morning. How are you this morning? Okay? I'm, I'm pretty good. Can Thank you, you. Can you believe the reaction you have had here in Australia and what's been a very short trip thus far? I kind of, yeah. Um, it's, 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 uh, I'm not sure what people think of me, to be honest. Well, you, you've come uh, out with Jeffrey. Where, where did you two lovebirds meet? We met uh, somewhere between Columbus Circle and the Lincoln Center in NYC. Um, I was, I, I'm a DJ. Yeah. DJ, fashion designer, mostly DJ though. Um, and he's in the music business himself. Or was. I, I don't know why he was there exactly, but he was wearing some kind of bedazzled uh, tie. Yeah. And I, I, it was love at first uh, shine, <laughs> something like that. So was this at, a so doof, was this at one of those doof doof um, nightclub ravey thingies and Jeffrey was there? No, it was oh. not, not a nightclub. But um, we did have kind of a flirty, intimate, almost intimate conversation uh, meeting yeah kind of flirty i wouldn't say intimate that's a little over the top but um we liked each other uh so and then and then um, he's and then and he I says had no idea who he was yeah obviously what did I'm he say america uh he he uh commented on my outfit i was i was just saying um how much i liked his suit and i was really impressed uh, he was wearing, I think, all orange, yeah, um, and some kind of sparkly tie, and I, I was like, wow, like that's that's a great outfit. Are, are you coming from somewhere? And he hadn't been coming from anywhere, um, and that's just like me, kind of. I, I, I feel I wear gowns around my house, and people are like, You're, where, where are you going tonight? You know, and I'm nowhere. Exactly. So, uh, I, I felt. Like, Connection, uh, so, so, very self-expressive. So then, uh, and, and can I ask a very personal question? You can you can tell me sure. get lost if you want. But like, are you in love? Get lost. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> yes, I am. Are you? <laughs> I yes. And uh, so, I, <laughs> can I call the lifeline? <laughs> Well, that's, all, that's always very good to know that it's there. Um, but, but in terms of the love, I mean, where, are you going to stay in Australia now? I mean, it's a, lot, it's a big move from New York City to, to live out here. It's a, it's a huge move, and it definitely would be love because uh, New York it was my very first love. Uh, when I moved yeah. to Manhattan from Miami, I, I would never leave. I, 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 would, I would have withdrawals from New York. So coming to Australia and, and re repositioning myself yeah. from Manhattan, my my lover, um, is is will be very hard. Yeah. Um, but I, I really do care about Jeff. All right. And I so, so. so look, you made a bit of, you made a bit of an impression um, of course when you got here and you and you um, wore a certain outfit uh, to Tommy Hafey's yeah. funeral the other day. I heard what, about that. What would you say to people um, who said that it was a bit over the top for a funeral? I, I, looking at the pictures, agree. I also didn't realize, of course, I'm American, who yeah. Tommy Hafey was. Yeah. So I had no idea that I'd be photographed. I was like, I have a black dress, okay? Yeah. Um, it was the only black dress that I had brought, to be honest. Um, the only thing black that could be black and black. I didn't have a black shirt and black pants. So I, so I wore the dress, but um, I, I hadn't been to a funeral in a really long time, mm. and I, I was really just there to support Jeff. I had no idea. I didn't even know that paparazzi went to funerals. I think that's kind of tacky. Um, a lot of people, but, um, a lot of people are comparing you um, to ex-wife Bryn. Bryn is, was a very, very big fan um, of our show. And we we love Bryn on this show. Um, there's also uh, there's been a little bad. bit of nastiness between you on Instagram, which you I, I think have sort of fan the flames of with with a little bit of hashtag Bryn Edelson. Why have you done that? I. I 
with, and I never say this, I don't really, I'm not very fond of her. There's very few people that I have never met that I can say I'm not fond of. But, um, uh, there, she's called Jeff for, uh, relationship advice when they're in a breakup. First of all, that's really rude. Uh, her family has hashtagged me and wrote Bryn's house. Bryn's, you know, when I take pictures on Instagram around on, around the house. Um, I've gotten a lot of disrespect back, and I've also gotten beat down to the ground about this Hervé Legere dress, mm. which I um, have apologized and apologized, and I was not... I don't know who in their right mind would think that that someone could be so evil that they would want to make their debut mm. at a funeral. So listen, no, what I about just this? To look nice. What about this? It seems but. to me that, that there's a great opportunity here to take a Camp David style, bring the opposing camps in together. Would you be willing to sit down with her and maybe discuss it and talk it out so that we don't have you feuding? It would be kind of nice just to get on with life, wouldn't it? I'm already on with life, but if she would like to chat and say a few things, I don't know. I, uh, um, I, I could try. Well, I'll tell you what we could do. We can, or, we can, we can maybe, ask. I, I if, you're, if you're willing to do it, we'll bring you in and we'll get Brynn in and we'll get Richard Wilkins to mediate and, and right, he'll, he'll sort everything out between body, you two. I would like a bodyguard. Sort of, exactly. My extensions are very expensive. Your what are expensive? If they're... If my extension, oh. so if they're ripped out, you know, it's going to be a whole other level. You've got killer heels on too. I mean, I wouldn't want to mess with you. Fix that up, Carl. Yeah, I, we'll guarantee the extensions. Are got cool. the got the heels. <laughs> well, so. well, it looks like a lot of alligators have died for those shoes. <laughs> Look at them. Yeah, they, but they're a lot more uh, wearable because they're skin. Uh, exactly. But anyone, and uh, they're waterproof. Animal cruelty. They're waterproof They're, as well. What about engagement? Yeah. Are you going to get engaged? Well, I just might. To Jeffrey? Uh, well, who else is on the list? We well, haven't met Richard Wilkins oh, yet. Come on. <laughs> you guys are laughing. Is that another Australian person I don't know of? You don't want to meet Dickie. You don't I need want to, to meet. get these Move names. On. I need to look up who's who because I'm going to. Don't, don't worry. It's better you don't. It's better you don't. We'll just, just we'll let things happen naturally. <laughs> hey, listen, yeah. you've been a great sport today. We wish you all the yeah, very best never. here in Australia. And I reckon, you know, you're a bit of life, a bit of fun. It's fantastic. And have a great stay here. And, and look, you. who knows? Dickie might even be able to MC your wedding. Yeah. Jerry Seinfeld. <sighs> exactly. Oh. <laughs> Already taken. <laughs> Kramer! Oh, yeah. I want Kramer. All right. I want Kramer. See you later, right. darling. Bye. Dickie. Are you available? Thank you for the card up, Carlos. <laughs> wow, well, that answers a few questions, doesn't it? And uh, sets up a few more, too. <laughs>